Sup nerds and welcome back. Today, I brought you a really interesting product and I dropped a little bit of money on it. You ready for this? Listen. Quiet, right? I know. You might be thinking, Steven, most of the stuff on your channel is for like cheap asses and that's not cheap. Well, guess what? This is not even actually a suppressor. This is fake. What I'm actually bringing to you, oh, this is a really smooth transition, isn't it, isn't it, is the world's quietest bullet. I bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Aguila 22. I don't know, I don't know how to say that. I'm assuming, is that Aguila? It sounds Italian, but it looks American because there's a bird on it. Anyway, I found these and from what I've gathered, they are advertised as subsonic, obviously. I guess there's no black powder in these at all. It's pretty much just primer shooting the 22 long rifle projectile. And because of that, you don't need ears. And that's kind of awesome. I'm kind of curious though, to see what the effectiveness is of this cartridge, because if you can see, it is only 420 feet per second. Hey, you there. Well, I'm taking a minute to load these. Why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe? Even like it if you're feeling really wild tonight. It's really gonna help me and the channel a lot. Now that you're officially liking and subscribed because you wouldn't dare be this far in the video without subscribing and helping your boy out. We are going to do a sound comparison. I only have ears on because I'm gonna do two spicy rounds, the CCI Stingers, and then underneath it, I have two of the Iguilas, the, the Whisper Boys. I'm not gonna shoot a target because I feel like if you're healing, hearing, uh, if you're healing, if you're hearing steel ting, there's not really a point to seeing how quiet it is. You know what I mean? I always see these suppressor dudes out there being like, listen to how quiet this is, and all you hear is the steel ringing, and it's like, that, that's silly. Anyway, CCI Stinger. A little spicy, right? Moved mustache a little. Aguila. Fun fact. It doesn't have enough power to even rack a slide. This is not designed for semi-autos. Again, Aguila. It's like, it's literally a pinch louder than clapping your hands. That is amazing. So I don't know how well it's gonna pick up. We don't have a decibel meter. I'm just gonna tell you now that it does not even cause the slightest stinging of the ears. Not that 22 is necessarily super loud. Fuck you, bug. So sound comparison wise, it is night and day. I mean, the Stinger is a spicy, spicy 22 long rifle round. The Aguila, it is like a, a calming whisper, but that does beg the question. The Stinger is uh, a little over 1600 feet per second. This is 420. So we're gonna see what the power difference is in the most scientific ways possible. Okay, we're gonna test the power. What better way to do this then Red Bull. We are not sponsored by Red Bull, even though I have a friend that is pretty high up in Red Bull. You know who you are. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot one with the Stinger, then I'm gonna do a couple of the, the Whisper Boys, and then I'm gonna try to see how many the Whisper Boy will go through, okay? And these are not sugar free because my hookup hates me. So I'm probably gonna be real sticky and my autism hates texture, so this is gonna be great. Spicy. Quiet. <laughs> At least I smell good now. Okay, so we did see a noticeable difference. Let's check the damage. This is the stinger. It got skull fucked. Had to bleed it out. Wasn't a clean kill. We do have an entry and an exit. Okay, so it does seem like it has some power. Now we're gonna try that out. Nice shooting. Huh? You shot the table. Shut yes. No, that was in the can. Actually, you're probably right. That probably went down. The first shot of every episode has to hit the table. It's basically a federal law and we have to respect the feds. Let's get these bulls on parade. Silent round. Oh, 
I'm so wet and not in a good way. There's one victim. There's one. Okay, this one's not touched. This one's not touched. I put five there, didn't I? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a dead one, dead one, dead one, dead one, because I did three earlier. Yeah. So it went through three cans. That's not bad. That's more than I honestly thought it was going to do, because this is a very, very slow, slow, tiny round. That's super scientific, but now I'm going to actually do a test that's probably more relevant to our uh, non-smoothed brained viewers. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's, sorry, you saw my, my tism go. It's really slick now, because it's wet. Anyway, now that I got that out of my system, I got some, I got some 10% FBI ballistic gel here. We're gonna actually see if this is remotely usable or if it's just a gimmick. Who needs grip tape when you can just be covered in Red Bull and sugar? This is disgusting. Okay. So we are going to do the quiet rounds first, and then we're going to do the stinger round out of the Taurus TX-22. Oh no, I caught it. Come on over, folks. Right there is our quiet boy. It actually turned the bullet around. You can see there's no actual, like, significant wound channel. And then there's our stinger. I can't tell if that opened up or not. Oh yeah, it opened up. You can see, I don't know if you can see right there. It mushroomed pretty good. Let's get actually scientific here. So, <laughs> The quiet guy only made it three inches into the ballistic gel. The stinger made it about eight. So that's a, that's a pretty significant performance change, but I don't think that this is the gun in mind when they're using a round like this. So I'm actually gonna switch it up a little bit. I think that this round was more so for people wanting to hunt like small game or something out of a bolt action 22, which we have. And in defense, the barrel length will change the ballistics a good bit. So we're gonna do the same test, but through a rifle. So we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. I'm gonna start out with the slow round, then move to the stingers. Gun is clear. Let's check the result. Oh, okay. So, the bullet is actually not as deep and the wound channel is actually about the same depth from the rifle, which is weird, but the bullet is facing forward this time. Did not make that big of a difference. However, our spicy boy, that thing was ripping it moved up to almost the 10 inch mark with full expansion. So that kind of speaks, ooh, this is a cool shot. Get it from here. This is nice. You see that? You can see it fragmenting all through and it opened up real nice. Real nice, you see, there's the old stinger. And then, oh no. Maybe this, this will be the side you can see it the best. So there was shot number one with the pistol. There's shot number two. So really it didn't make that much of a difference. I'm wondering if that is because, it's because there's no powder. So maybe it's just not building velocity really at all. It's just kind of like a little, whenever it's out of the barrel. Would I use this for something? Honestly, I don't think, I mean, that's, I'm sure people have used this and they've effectively killed something, but that's like pretty sketchy. Is it quiet as shit? Absolutely, and that is cool, and it will make you laugh. Don't think it's that practical though. If you have anything that you would like to see me use, test, etc., go ahead and drop that in the comments below. If not, 
too bad. I'll still see you next time because I love you and I know you'll come back. See you later.